really simple. Um, now, uh, another problem that you'll end up uh, as having when you uh, open things in from, from MATLAB is that you'll have a lot of clipping masks. Uh, let's show one example. Uh, I believe that my scatter plot had this problem. Yes, okay. It's a perfect example. Great, so you see things B, this, uh, this legend over here, or this, uh, this axis uh, thing, uh, uh, it doesn't show up completely. Why is that? Because you've selected clipping on, and that's the default in MATLAB. But sometimes you don't want to, have to actually have to go back to, to MATLAB to fix it. So here's how you do that. You double click, first of all, to get inside. And then, actually, hold on, let me do that again. So you double click to get inside, and now uh, there's a, so when I click it, you'll see that it doesn't just select the text, it selects like a whole thing around it for whatever reason, right? And the reason is that there's a clipping mask under there. So you can uh, release, and now, ah, the whole thing is Can you delete that seen. mask? Uh, by just selecting it, I guess. I don't, uh, I don't know if you can sell. Can you select it? Well, let's let's see for this uh, for this B here, right? So one option, another option that you have is so if you click on the uh, the text, right? So you see, once you're at the edge of where the mask is, you can actually select the mask mm -hmm. and then move it around. Okay, perfect. You can Resize see that. It. Yeah. You can resize the mask if you want. Cool. So that's that's another one of your options, and you can actually delete it, and then there's no mask at all. Uh, you can make your own mask if you want for whatever reason. Um, so let's say uh, I want to uh, mask um, all the legends instead of deleting them. For I don't know why you would want to do that, but whatever. Uh, so you would do something like this. Uh, actually do something like this and then you would use a clipping mask. So see what I did there? I went to object, clipping mask, make, and the topmost thing is what ends up being the mask. That's what defines the mask. Whereas the bottommost things are the mask things. And you can create a mask of any like shape or size and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so I don't know if it was clear, uh, so once again, to release the mask, object, clipping mask, release. Okay, um, as, uh, as Theo pointed out earlier, um, you want to use uh, set GCA clipping off uh, a lot of the time to avoid actually seeing these, uh, these masks and having to deal with them. Um, but if you have a plot that's already made, clearly you want to use uh, clipping uh, clipping mask uh, to take it off. Now, uh, sometimes another thing that happens if you select something in MATLAB uh, that comes from MATLAB, and here's an example: this grid over here. If I want to select like individual spokes out of this grid, so let's just go back. You see, there's like a, there's a uh, star shaped grid if you want that contains uh, uh, 12 spokes and I want to select one of these things now you see it moves all at the same time right oops right so it moves all at the same time and yet it's not grouped right if I press control shift G nothing happens I can't select any of these things individually and that's because it's a compound path rather than an actual path and you see it over here compound path right so you can use object, compound path, release. And that takes care of having all these spokes being there individually. So if I want, I can remove all of these guys. And then I have uh, much less ink in my, um, in my plot. So these three things <coughs> you're going to see a lot uh, if you import things from MATLAB. Once again, roots, clipping masks, and uh, compound paths.
so that actually concludes our first part, which was about placing stuff and resizing it and so forth. There's a couple of things I, I didn't uh, talk about, like rotating, rotating things, but uh, if you know how to size things, for example, it should be obvious. Uh, Theo, do you have any questions about this section? Is this no, I think uh, I'm good. I think. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, so we'll stop now and start over. <laughs>